you know, when I was preparing uh, my speech, the introduction was, uh, thank you for your invitation. I'm very glad to hear <laughs> to be here. I'm coming from Romania and your town is wonderful, but I think I have to change that. I'm uh, from Romania and speaking uh, from Bucharest, from the Institute of uh, Oncology, where I'm... Uh, please tell me which one. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so this is my home and uh, I am stuck here. Uh, and uh, I'm with friends, but I'm happy that uh, I can join uh, some old friends and hopefully new ones. Working, as I told you, Institute of Oncology and University of Medicine, doing a lot of surgeries, uh, mainly or quite, quite a lot of uh, breast cancer surgery, but these were the good days. And nowadays, the these figures are less than half. Uh, we'll try to recover slowly, hopefully. And uh, as life has uh, its ups and downs, it was the same with uh, breast surgery, beginning from uh, radical mastectomy to conservative to prophylactic oncoplastic and so on, and going on, uh, we don't know in what direction. The most important rev revolution was uh, passing from mastectomy to conservative treatment, uh, and now we can obtain wonderful uh, cosmetic results with uh, a very good local control and uh, good survival. Uh, sometimes, it's not possible. We have to do mastectomy, but maybe not so often. And you know, I was thinking, and I think uh, these are the, the cases when we cannot do uh, mastect we cannot do conservative treatment. And I have to add something: uh, patients with BRCA mutation. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to do conservative unilateral. Uh, conservative treatment for uh, patients with breast cancer, unilateral breast cancer, and uh, BRCA mutation, pathological BRCA mutation, because it was documented they have not only a high rate of contralateral uh, breast cancer, but also a higher rate of local recurrence. Uh, I thought conservative treatment will be the winner the only winner. But surprise, as uh, Bahadir always saying, expect the unexpected. Raising numbers of mastectomies, not only unilateral mastectomy, but bilateral for prophylactic. Uh, and this observation was confirmed by a lot of studies uh, that are showing an increase, important increase of rate of mastectomy in the States, but not only in the States, everywhere in the world, in a very short period of time, 10, 15 years, double, triple, very high. Why that? Because MRI, because BRCA, because fear, and because money, reimbursed money. And also uh, is a consequence of the success of the surgeon, breast surgeon, uh, oncologic surgeon, gynecologist, uh, plastic surgeons, because they do, they can do, and they succeed to do wonderful reconstruction. And this is the price of the success, one price of the su success. Why MRI? Doing MRI, and it's more and more often done, even if the surgeon is not prescribing, prescribing the, the MRI, another medical doctor will do that. And even another medical will uh, not do that, the patient will ask for it. And uh, you know the problem, still the problem with the MRI, 
very good uh, sensitivity, but um, low sen uh, uh, sensitivity specificities. Sorry. So we have to do uh, quite a lot of unnecessary mastectomy because we never uh, confirmed the suspicion of uh, malignancy, contralateral mastectomy, uh, contralateral mal uh, uh, malignancy, or <clears throat> multifocality or multicentricity. Uh, maybe the core of the topic is BRCA mutation. And as a very early conclusion, if there is a unilateral breast cancer and uh, a pathogenic BRCA mutation, maybe you should do bilateral mastectomy, and this is probably the best choice. I'll discuss other details, but as a primary conclusion, uh, I think this is the one to remember. Uh, also, if there is a strong family history associated with or not with BRCA mutation, uh, you may consider contralateral mastectomy. Uh, we know that the average risk for women to to uh, do to have contralateral uh, breast cancer is low, and the bilateral prophylactic mastectomy reduces uh, the risk when the risk is high, like in uh, BRCA1 or BRCA2 uh, mutation. And one reason uh, that the patients are choosing uh, contralateral mastectomy, that means bilateral mastectomy for unilateral breast cancer, is the results of the immediate reconstruction. And I'm talking not only uh, about the alloplastic reconstruction, but all sorts of uh, immediate or delayed uh, reconstruction that have uh, improved cosmetic outcome. Young lady, uh, unilateral breast cancer, BRCA mutation, uh, a, a high uh, lifetime risk of contralateral uh, breast cancer. So I think best solution was this one, uh, bilateral mastectomy with immediate breast reconstruction. Uh, different case, but uh, imagine if we cannot do uh, uh, mastectomy, one side mastectomy, um, it's difficult to, to do oncoplastic. Uh, and the case is appealing because you have an excess skin envelope and you can use it uh, for covering the lower part of the prosthesis and uh, to have a good final result like that. So the lady is looking better and uh, she had the, the mastectomy on the right for, for cancer and the prophylactic mastectomy uh, on the other side. Uh, as I told you, uh, because of these results, contralateral mastectomy is patient-driven. Uh, but they uh, are not aware of the complication because if you are doing double mastectomy and immediate reconstruction, the complication are higher, are simple double. And uh, when it's happened like this, it can be a big problem because this lady has to uh, have another surgery and uh, probably the oncological postoperative treatment has to be delayed. And maybe this could have impact even on survival. Um, well, contralateral mastectomy, if the unilateral breast cancer is treated with mastectomy. Other way, if you are doing just conservative treatment and it's possible to do conservative treatment and uh, the, the risk of contralateral breast cancer is not high, 
conservative treatment is routine. What are the purposes? Uh, most of all, the, the, the most important is just to, to reduce uh, the contralateral risk of cancer. I want to, to emphasize about one thing. I uh, am not documented about this, but I remember from my practice that a lot of patients that I have treated for unilateral breast cancer, and many of them with conservative treatment, are coming to the doctor for the contralateral breast cancer in a later stage than the first cancer. And I don't know why, because they have to do screening after the, after the, the treatment, but maybe they, uh, they have the fear to um, have again surgery and treatment. So usually I see patients for the second cancer, the contralateral uh, cancer, later and sometime, sometimes for the first cancer I did conservative and for the second I have to do uh, mastectomy. And the last sentence here is reducing breast cancer mortality. Uh, no, contralateral uh, mastectomy doing uh, for prophylaxis is not reducing uh, breast cancer mortality. The survival of a patient with unilateral breast cancer is determined by the evolution of her cancer of her existing cancer, not far by the prophylactic mastectomy, or if we are not doing prophylactic mastectomy of the incident of contralateral breast cancer. Uh, we have to estimate the contralateral breast cancer risk to know what to do. And uh, the factors are related to the patient and related to the type of the tumor. And we can do a stratification of the risk uh, to know when we take into, into the consideration the contralateral mastectomy. Uh, of course, uh, the study showed some predictive when is more probably to do um, uh, contralateral mastectomy in these cases or there are also some biases. Uh, contralateral mastectomy is more related to the socioeconomic status of the patients. It is related to the surgeon who, are, uh, who is doing the, the surgery and is related also to the hospital where this patient is uh, treated. Uh, what do we obtain with contralateral prophylactic mastectomy? It's obvious we decrease uh, the incidence of uh, the contralateral breast cancer. We not eliminate it, as I told you before, but we decrease it when the risk is high. What we cannot obtain, we cannot obtain a better survival uh, if there is a benefit that is very, very small and uh, there, are, there is only maybe related to uh, women with uh, BRCA mutation. So it's not improving, it's not improving survival and the patient has to know that or to understand that. Uh, and also the patient has to know that the oncological treatment that she is doing because of her breast cancer will reduce the risk of the contralateral breast cancer. And uh, as I already stated, you are not changing the survival. The survival of the patient, and you have to repeat that to the patient, is related to her primary uh, cancer, maybe, maybe you can obtain if there is a BRCA uh, pathological mutation. We know that the cost is higher because uh, 
It's an oncological surgery for one breast. It's a prophylactic surgery for the other breast. And it's reconstruction for both uh, breasts. Um, the decision is difficult, difficult for, uh, for the surgeon and difficult for the patient. So uh, it takes a lot of time, it's time consuming. I was thinking in those cases, uh, the benefit of new adjuvant uh, treatment is beyond the effect on the tumor Beyond the fact, the fact that you will uh, have a smaller uh, tumor to operate, uh, and uh, you know that you will not need uh, treatment, systemic treatment after surgery. So if there are some complications, uh, you are not delaying a systemic treatment. But new adjuvant is also good in these cases because it allows to have time to discuss with the patient and to have also the results of uh, the genetic test. Uh, there are so many things that you have to, to speak with the patients, the advantages and the disadvantages. And um, in general, um, the patient overestimate the benefits and underestimate the, um, the risk of this surgery. I was looking on a site uh, and uh, I found uh, that uh, someone uh, were telling to, to women who have uh, breast cancer to ask around 99 questions uh, for uh, for the breast surgeon. So imagine 99 questions, uh, one, two, three minutes for each. Uh, a lot of a lot of time dealing with uh, this decision. Uh, one misinterpretation is that. Uh, the contralateral prof prophylactic mastectomy is similar with breast augmentation with prosthesis. That means so simple and with so wonderful results. And we have to explain that it's totally, a totally different surgery. So double mastectomy, it's not routine for unilater unilateral uh, breast cancer. We have a uh, cancer on the right to do or not to do uh, contralateral mastectomy. This is the question of uh, my presentation. And maybe um, the answer is from this guideline from the American uh, Society of Breast Surgeons. Uh, so we have to do contralateral mastectomy, so bilateral mastectomy with one kind of reconstruction. In cases of BRCA mutation, pathological BRCA mutation, strong family history, but no testing. Uh, in cases where we cannot do uh, radiotherapy and in lobular uh, breast cancer in young patients.